page 59, when the Saints go marching in, at the top of the page they're showing you the walking bass pattern for the different chords. For instance, in the F chord, you're in this position down here, and you're, you're simply doing the walking bass. And for a C chord, it's here. B flat chord, you're just putting your hand in that position, and you're playing those notes in that position. Don't use the fourth finger. So once you have that, you use these patterns, and saints go marching in if you want. They're giving you the right hand. They're telling you to play the left hand with these patterns. This is like a, a lead sheet would be, or in a fake book where you'd turn to the, and the page would be saints go marching in, and all you'd see is the melody, maybe some words, and the chord symbols, and that's it. And you have to make stuff up rather than just playing chords, block chords. You might want to do that to kind of get your hand and, and you're accustomed to what you're, where it is and so forth. But then eventually you start improvising other patterns in the left hand. And this walking bass is a good pattern. So it does there. left-hand part you have a choice they're giving you one measure of this walking thing and it's they're playing it down here I'm playing it up here doesn't matter wherever and then one measure of just the boop boop you can play more than one measure of the walking thing if you want you don't you can save that little boop boop till the very end the last one if you want or so so in the first line I could do Say that or I leave it out entirely and just do this. All the way to it's experiment and see the kind of different things you can do in the left hand. That's the whole idea. In time, you'll develop these things where when you get it, you, you'll just kind of do it. You'll play around with all the different patterns you've learned and just have fun with it. That's what improvising is about. Now, that last line, I have some instructions here. There's a note in between it, because this is the improv section here. They're saying, play the motif two times. Well, that's nice. What's a motif? Remember what a motif is? It is a short musical idea. Short music pattern. In this case, they labeled it. The two measures is a motif. Kind of a long motif, but it works. So the motif is this. The second measure, that first A is an A natural. Because there's there's no A flat in the signature, so yeah. But then they put an A flat in. Okay. Then they're telling you improvise on the two blank measures, the last two measures, a combination of repetition or AVA or retrograde or any combination of those. So I could play them again. So the last line, if, if, if I play them again, it's this. That's repetition. I repeated it. Or I can do it, repeat it up an octave, change the octave. So then it would sound like this. can do it retrograde which is to play each measure or the whole motif backwards. Well if I do 
the whole motif backwards, then I'm going to start at the end of the second major and I'm just going to read it backwards to the front. So it would be this way. I end on a C. I don't want to end on a C. It's just weird. So what I, in this case, I would recommend if you do the retrograde, do each measure separately. So I'm going to play the first two measures as they are. Then I'm going to go back and play the first measure again backwards. And then I'm going to play the second measure backwards. I want to end on an F. So if, I, if I'm going to go through and do both measures together retrograde, I, rather than the last note being a C, which is the first note, I'm going to play an F. Because I want to end on an F. I don't want to end on a C. Look. So that's what I recommend if you do the retro. And you can do that ABA too. And I, I really encourage you to work on the retrograde. Get used to reading these notes backwards. Let's just look at it slowly here, in case you're not getting this retrograde thing, because it's too easy. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not interested in that. I'll go on. Well, take a look at it here. In the first measure, the first note written is a C, and then a B natural, B flat, A flat, and F. So what I just want to do is I want to play those. Forget the rhythm. Just play those notes the other direction. So I'm going to look at the last note in the measure. It's an F, so I'll play that first. The, ne the next to the last note is an A flat, so I'll play that next. Then before that A flat comes a B flat, so I'll play that next. And then before that is a B natural. And then the first note in the measure is a C, so I'll end on that. So to play that measure backwards, it's that. Then if I add in the rhythm, I got two eighth notes in there, so I got a quarter note, quarter note, then two eighth notes, and then a quarter note. So that's it. That's retrograde. That's playing it backwards. And it's a little weird at first, but if you'll just try it and practice it and work on it, I think you'll find you can get very good at it quickly. Take the second measure. There at the bottom, it's here. Well, play it backwards with the last note in the measures in F. So I'll play that first. Then the, the note right before the F is a C, so I'll play that next. Then before that is an A natural, I'll play that next. And then before that is an A flat, so I'll play that next. Then an A natural, and then the first note in the measure is an F, so I'll end on that. So to play it backwards, it's F, forget the rhythm, just F, C, A, A flat, A flat. Yeah. Then you put the rhythm back in, so it's quarter note, and then we got four eighth notes, and then an eighth note, so it, or quarter note, a note, some note, I don't know. And that's retrograde for that measure, so I would encourage you, or even challenge you, whatever it takes, to look at this retrograde stuff. It can be a lot of fun. I'm going to do a play with me here. It's almost more like a duet. You ought to be able to get these notes, I hope, and the rhythms. But while I'm doing this, I'd like you to see if you can't play the left hand. Maybe by itself. You don't even have to. I'll do the right hand. I'll do the melody. You do the left hand. And then when we get down to the last line, I'm going to play it twice. And in the last two measures, I'm not going to play anything for the right hand. You do that. Improvise. We'll try this out slow. Well, I'm not going to go too slowly. This is almost more like a performance. But we will go kind of slow. Uh, just to try and get an idea of this improvising stuff for the left hand. Now that first measure. That... That's a pickup measure. There's not four counts in that. So the left hand, you, you'll notice there's no chord symbol above it. The left hand doesn't come in until the first full measure where the F is. That's where the left hand starts. So it would be... Or however you 
you want to do the left hand. I just played one note and then left it there. You don't have to. You can do two notes. You can continue the walking bass. It's up to you what you want to do. Experiment. Try different things at different times and see what you like. It's the, the ultimate judge is what do you like to hear? If you like that sound, go for it. Now the road map for this. You play it on and down to the bottom. We're going to do the last line twice. There's a DS all Fine, there's a DS sign Alfine, whatever. The DS means go back to the sign. They show you in the sign that little squiggly thing in the jigger. And that's up at the top on the first full measure on the, where they give you the F chord. That's, that's, so you go back to there. And then you go down and the Fine is at the fourth line down there toward the end. You'll see that Fine and you have the thin and thick bar lines. That's the symbol for the end of a piece. So you end there. So that last note, that's it. And then we're done. Go ahead and get your left hand where it goes. I don't care if you're playing it down here or here. It's up to you where you want to play it. Just be ready on these chords. Know where you're going to go. So when you get to the C chord, where are you going to go? You're going to go down here or you're going to go up here. Make that decision. And for the B flat chord, where are you going to go? So here we go. I'm going to just start out. Here, um, I'll give myself five counts and I'll begin and then you come in in the left hand right there in the first full measure. One, two, three, four, go. to the sign. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, 